AutoCAD users know the benefit of using blocks. However, to facilitate the usage of this tool, Autodesk has added new system resources for defining blocks. Now it's possible to create blocks and insert different actions. They're called dynamic blocks. We'll learn about dynamic blocks in this class when they're used, and how these entities can help us. Here is the difference between a traditional block and a dynamic one. The main difference between a dynamic block and a traditional one is the flexibility dynamic blocks provide. It's possible to resize, rotate, align dynamic blocks much more easily than traditional ones. We must apply editing commands to adopt to a project block, so their actions can be performed on inserted traditional blocks. However, in a dynamic block, it's much easier due to the special grips. It's possible to also register another type of action, view control, as well as rotating, alignment, and resizing. This action makes it possible to join several types of blocks into one single block. A menu is used to select the way the inserted block will be viewed. This type of block provides flexibility as it can be used in any kind of project, architectural as well as mechanical. The use of these dynamic blocks saves time while defining your projects. The 2010 version has added parameterization to dynamic blocks. Now we can create part families using this new resource. Register all possible dimensions for the element in these part families. We can adapt the block dimensions based on exact needs of the project. So throughout this course, we'll learn to create parametric dynamic blocks. We'll also learn how to create part families. Attributes is another resource applied to blocks and taught in this course as well. Attributes are used to display project data or even add user data manually to the block. So you see, dynamic blocks are much more practical than traditional ones. This makes it possible to easily adjust to the actual needs of the project being designed. Now that we've learned about the benefits, let's begin our course.